want me back on deck, huh? I gotta admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Let's go, then. I'm all ready to go. All right, Deacon. I guess it's your turn. Stay safe. Appreciate that, McCready. You do the same. Huh. Deacon. You two taking care of some official business? Mr. Valentine, you flatter me. Taking up with this guy, huh? Your funeral. Funeral? I don't think I packed a disguise for that. There's something you're keeping from me, Deacon. If I find out what it is and I don't like it, there will be hell to pay. Well, good thing I have nothing to hide, then. You two are heading out together? Not sure the Commonwealth's ready for that. What's there to worry about? <laughs> How much trouble could two people really get into? Deacon, where have you been all my life, handsome? Waiting for you, beautiful. Do not get him in any trouble, Monsieur Deacon. Me? Get into trouble? I am the very definition of innocence. We're just gonna spend all day playing canasta. Promise. And so it goes. Do be mindful out there, Mr. Deacon. Always am, Codsworth. That's one thing you can count on. This puny human instead of strong? <laughs> Good things come in small packages. But then you know all about small packages, don't you, Strong? I don't know who you are, but if any harm comes to this man, I will find out, and then I will find you. Me? Oh, I'm nobody. But hey, don't you worry about a thing. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Time to hit the road. I knew you couldn't live without me. Still killing people for caps, McCready? I don't know. You still pretending to be anyone but yourself? So, this is the sort you're taking up with now? Yeah, and who could blame him? McCready, huh? That's a hell of a gun to have at your back. I aim to please. I'm not sure why you'd want to travel with this insubordinate civilian. But it's your decision. Yeah, sorry, Dance, I couldn't hear you over all that clanking. Maybe just try not to get each other killed out there? Getting us killed is the farthest thing from my mind, Angel. Well, hey there, handsome. Watch this guy for me, will ya? He loves to get himself into trouble. For you, Kate, I'd do anything. Do you have any new injuries for me to treat today, Monsieur McCready? Feeling fine, thanks. But uh, if a couple of stim packs fall my way, I wouldn't object. Uh, Mr. McCready, please take care of my master. If harm should befall him, I would be most disappointed. Quit worrying, Codsworth. You're going to blow a fuse or something. This human good fighter. Almost as good as Strong. Thanks, Strong. Going from someone like you, that's a pretty big compliment. I know your reputation, McCready. I'm confident you can handle whatever threats you encounter. Uh, yeah. Thanks. I guess. Good luck out there, McCready. Still wasting your time trying to save the world, huh, Garvey? Oh, come on, dog me. Quit trying to make me feel guilty for taking your place. Time to hit the road again? Get back to the hunt for Eddie Winter? Let's head out. Well, all right. Nick, you old dog. Good to see you. With him along? I know you're both going to be fine. Ah, Deacon. We'll keep our eyes peeled. You just make sure your folks all keep doing the same, all right? Damn, I uh, forgot to pick up that motor oil for you, Valentine. Cute, McReady. You come up with that all on your own? You leaving me for this circuit board? You bring him back in one piece, Nick. I can't promise there won't be some scuffs and dings. I can't believe you're replacing me with this thing. Believe it, bucko. Now, isn't there someone else you should be irritating? So, any stories you two come across out there? I get the exclusive, right? Piper, I wouldn't know who else to tell. All right, Nikki. Watch yourself out there. Don't worry, Kate. I will. You are a scientific marvel, Monsieur Nick. Oh, I'm sure you say that to all the junk in the scrap heap. Mr. Valentine, I couldn't have picked a more worthy replacement. Codsworth, you flatter me. You take care of yourself. Puny metal man. We die soon, then find strong. We look for milk again. Well, then get comfy, big guy, because I ain't checking out any time soon. This is the future of the Institute that you're protecting, unit. Remember that. 
Yeah, and we wouldn't want to do anything to upset the Institute, would we? I know I'm leaving him in good hands, Nick. Be careful out there. I'll uh, keep out of trouble if he does. It's all right, boy. I'll take it from here. Look who it is. We heading out again? Let's do it. Done. You're traveling with Hancock. Uh, are you sure that's safe? Safe? Where the hell's the fun in that? Hancock! That was the coolest ghoul in the Commonwealth. Hey, McCready. Don't wait up. You two stay out of trouble. Come on, Nick. You know I don't make promises I won't keep. Keep away from me, you filthy ghoul. Don't flatter yourself, crew cut. You ain't my type. Oh, if it isn't my second least favorite mayor in the Commonwealth. Well, well, the reporter. Sorry, darling. I ain't got time for an exclusive today. I'll tell you what, Hancock. If I ever decide to go ghoul, you're the first one I'm looking up. I'll be counting the days. You are such a fascinating specimen, Monsieur Hancock. You just love me for my body, baby. Happens all the time. It's an honor, sir, to know that the beloved mayor of Good Neighbor is taking my place. Pleasure, Codsworth. Keep it real. Cool, good fighter. Strong and prove. Guess you mutants do have some sense, don't you? I hope you understand your responsibilities, Hancock. Hey, it's me we're talking about. I got this, brother. Don't let him talk you into anything you'll regret later. What? You jealous? Sorry, Pooch. Stay. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. You want to travel with him? Okay. Just watch your back. That's an interesting warning coming from someone who dabbles in manipulation and subterfuge. Dance. Valentine. Brotherhood, huh? Like to see what you're capable of without all that power armor. Trust me, freak. You wouldn't. You two play nice out there. Only if it plays nice back, citizen. There's nothing quite like the smell of power armor grease and testosterone. The aroma is rather pungent. Oh, it is Monsieur Dance. One day soon we must talk of the technological marvels of the Brotherhood. Sharing technological information isn't permitted. However, if you wish to donate yourself for study, I'm certain our scribes would be pleased. All my hopes go with you for a successful mission, Paladin Dance. Sure. Godsworth, thanks. This human good fighter kill many brothers. Someday, strong smash. That's never gonna happen, mutant. You have the training and equipment to handle this assignment. The Institute's future will be in good hands. Don't mistake my tolerance of your existence for friendship, Synth. We have nothing to say to each other. Remember, the Commonwealth belongs to all of us, Paladin Dance. Don't worry, Garvey. There shouldn't be a problem as long as the Minutemen don't get in my way. Don't worry, boy. I'll make sure this soldier comes home alive. Head my way? Sure. Let's go. Will do. Oh, God. It's Piper. Hi. I'll be going. Ah, uh, save your breath, Deacon. I know exactly what you're gonna say. No comment. So, when are we going to have that one-on-one -on -one interview, Piper? Ah, oh, McCready. <laughs> Never in a million years. Traveling with Piper is not for the faint of heart. I'd know. Nick, you always know just what to say. Taken up with Little Miss Reporter, huh? I'm jealous. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a pickup line or both, so I think we're just gonna go. Exercise extreme caution out there, Piper. The Commonwealth is hazardous for civilians. I can handle myself, soldier boy. You two have fun together, Piper. Too bad we can't make it a threesome. Never gonna happen, Kate. You know, your public occurrences should have scientific articles. You've never met our readers, have you? Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. <laughs> Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. Bah. This human's soft, weak, not live long. Hey now, big boy. 
I know a couple of your brothers that say different. Our files indicate that you have a tendency to get into trouble, Piper. Try to stay out of it from now on. And who's gonna stop me? You? Piper, you listen to him now. He'll keep you out of trouble. Out of trouble? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home. Ready to head back out? Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. And here she is, the one, the only, Kate! <laughs> is that how they used to do it in the combat zone? I'd be glad to show you how we did things in the combat zone, Deacon. Name the time and the place. Heading out with Kate, huh? Hope you know what you're getting into. Hey, Valentine, I think you've got something on your face. Oh, it's skin. Yeah, you might want to get that looked at. Seems I'm gonna be missing out on all the fun. You have no idea, Hancock. No idea. Just make sure you keep our mutual friends safe. Yeah, take a hike, Dance. This calls for a lady's touch. So, no one's managed to put you in the ground yet, Kate? Not yet. Though it isn't for lack of trying. I think if you travel with Kate, you may need to bring a little more ammo. You're just jealous because you'll be missing all the fun. Ah, Miss Kate. So good of you to agree to take my place. May fortune favor the brave, my dear. You're beginning to get me nerves, Codsey. Strong find milk of human kindness on own. What the hell is he talking about? Never mind. I don't want to know. I'll be watching, Kate. If you fail to protect this man, I'll know about it. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? Leak oil all over me? All yours, Kate. Take care. You really know how to make a girl feel missed, handsome. Don't look at me that way, you dirty little mole rat. Do you need something, monsieur? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get underway. I like the new look, Curie. And people give me a hard time for just swapping out my face. Unlike you, I did not undergo such a procedure on a whim. Getting traded out for the tin can. How humiliating. Hey, Curie. I assure you, Monsieur Deacon, I am fully equipped and quite capable of dealing with a multitude of situations. Well, Curie, I uh, guess you're up. Have fun out there. Mon Dieu. Always so polite. Au revoir to you, Macready. You two watch yourselves out there. Oh, monsieur, we do not watch. We observe. So you are gonna be able to take care of yourself out there? I have read all available materials on the subject. Will that not be sufficient? Being replaced by a machine. Embarrassing. There's no need to be embarrassed. We merely possess different skills. Get out of my way, synth. But monsieur Dance, how have I offended you? Have fun, you two. Don't pick any fights I wouldn't. Well, I hope to not have to pick any at all. Gonna replace me with the egghead, eh? Well, good luck in a firefight. No need to worry, Mademoiselle Kate. My offensive capabilities are quite formidable. Ah, Miss Curie. Never was there a more suitable replacement. So gracious of you, Monsieur Codsworth. Until we meet again. Miss Curie, do take the utmost care of my master. I trust you're fully capable of handling your new body. But of course, Monsieur Codsworth, I assure you, no harm will befall your master. When Metal Man is all smashed, come find Strong. Don't worry, Monsieur Strong. I don't rush so easily. In my judgment, you're not ready for this, Curie. I hope you'll prove me wrong. I have survived centuries more than you, monsieur. In my judgment, you're not ready for this, Curie. I hope you'll prove me wrong. I am the top of the line of Robco technology. I assure you, I am capable of this. May I accompany you, sir? Yes. Thank you, sir. Codsworth, it's time. Oh, Deacon, your witticisms, as always, are, I'm sure, quite droll. Don't let this one boss you around too much, Codsworth. There's nothing I'd like more, Mr. Valentine. Well, this certainly puts a new spin on cleaning up the Commonwealth, don't it? We shall leave it spick and span. Hey, Codsworth. You sure you're up for this? Miss Piper, I can think of no greater honor. 
If you'd rather travel with this bucket of bolts, fine by me. You'll know where to find me. Charmed as always, Miss Kate. If it isn't Monsieur Codsworth, it is a pleasure to see you again. Doubly so for me, Miss Curie. Don't worry, I'll keep the master safe. Metal Man weak. When Metal Man smashed, come find strong. Weak? I'll have you know I've fended off blood bugs when necessary. If you fail in this assignment, Codsworth, I will personally make sure that you are dismantled and then melted down. You have nothing to fear, Mr. Rex. I am well aware of my duties. Hey, Codsworth, take over keeping an eye on him for me? Yes, of course, Mr. Garvey. Not to worry there, pup. Your martyr is in good hands. Strong go with human. Yes, come with me. Strong travel with human. All right, Strong. It's like it's your turn, my massive mutated friend. Goodbye, Mac Reedy. Hey, big guy. Don't eat this one, all right? Robo man, not tell Strong what to do. This looks like the start of a seriously good time to me. No fun. Milk of human kindness is business. Why you'd choose to travel with this mutant is beyond me. It should be destroyed. Metal man makes strong mad! Jeez, you mutants are not much prettier up close. Strong say same about little lady. I need you to keep this one alive, Strong. Don't worry. Strong smash enemy. To see a super mutant up so close, it is amazing. Keep little woman away from Strong. Strong no like. Well, he's a brutish one. Shall I lube the old joints while you're away? Robot, stop squawking. Strong smash. You have the potential to be an excellent bodyguard, Strong. I just hope you understand your responsibilities. Strong protect by crushing enemies! I sure hope you know what you're doing. Strong always know what's strong doing. Human not worry about me. Oh boy, it's an honest to goodness minute, man. And here's me without my autograph book. Deacon, you ever want to fight for a cause bigger than a handful of people? You get back to me. You two go do the Commonwealth proud. We'll try, Nick. I'll head for home, then. Good luck. Tell me, Garvey, what's gonna keep the Minutemen from falling apart this time? You're looking at him. Well, if it ain't the pride of the Minutemen. Be safe, you two. We'll do our best, Piper. You really want that do-gooder watching your back. Suit yourself. One of these days, you'll finally realize that the world doesn't revolve around you, Kate. I think with more people like you, Monsieur Garvey, Civilization will rise again. That's the goal, ma'am. Mr. Garvey, I'm sure you will take good care of my master. Good day to you both. Take care, Codsworth. Puny human instead of strong? Ha! Huh. Strong find milk without human. Don't know how you traveled with one of those. Our intelligence indicates that you have a strong sense of duty. This is the most important duty you will ever undertake. I know what I'm doing. It's not the first time I've had to protect someone. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of him. So I'll just be going. One day you're going to tell me who exactly that is. Your turn, X6. I'm tapped out. I'm ready to take over. So, anyone asked about me down there in the Institute? Why? Would you like a return visit? You really taking up with this Institute bootlicker? It would appear he's had his fill of topside garbage. Get that damn synth away from me before I shoot it in the head. If you attempt violence, I will respond accordingly. Well, if it isn't the Institute's little errand boy. Spare me your quips, Ms. Wright. Some of us have real work to do. Let me give you some advice, X6. If you want to meet someone, you need to lose the name. It's a real turn-off. Your logic appears flawed. I meet people all the time. I am so curious about just everything in the Institute. Watch it, Curie. The graveyard's full of people that got too curious. 
Godspeed, X688. I know I can rest easy with someone of your skill at my master's side. He couldn't be in better hands. Fake man dangerous. Good fighter, but can't trust. Your opinion is of no concern to me. If you trust him, General, then I guess I have to stop worrying. No harm will come to him while he's under my protection. Whoa, being benched for the mutt? Ouch. Oh, come on. You replacing me with a dog? <laughs> That's just insulting. Taking up with dog meat, huh? You two play nice out there. You're up, Pooch. I doubt this canine can match my tactical prowess in battle, but it's your decision. Don't let this one get you in too much trouble, boy. I'm telling you right now, if dog meat gets you killed, I'm turning him into a fur coat. Fascinating the bond between human and animal. Replaced by man's best friend. I suppose I can't be too dismayed. That thing food, not fighter. After human eats it, come find strong. You'll keep an eye on him, won't you, boy? <laughs>